Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to download predefined CAD parts from McMaster.com. So this is what we do whenever we want to use uh, screws, bolts, any other kind of stock part that we don't really want to model ourselves because it's already been done. So if you go ahead and go to your search bar and look up McMaster.com, you're going to find a wide variety of different parts. And so usually we use this for bolts and screws, which is our first option, but you can also use it for nuts, washers, and anything else you can think of that's found on the site. So we're going to go ahead and stick to screws. Um, we're going to stick to, we want M5. So if you go over to the left here, you'll see that you can change to inch or metric. So we'll go metric. And if you just scroll down through here, you'll find that M5 is its own option. It's so now it's narrowed down this screen here. And you can ch choose what kind of head you want. So I'll go socket head. Uh, and again, you're gonna find a ton of options. And since this is mostly for uh, modeling purposes and not we're not actually going to buy these, uh, we just stick to the first option of just alloy steel, regular thing. So now what you're gonna see is a huge little, or a huge table um, with different steels, different colors, uh, with or different coatings, but most of what we're worried about is the length. So you can see it's the length in millimeters and we can find the, the exact one we want. So I guess I'll go 16 millimeters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this part number and now I can click on product detail. Once I've clicked on part product detail, I'm going to see all the specs on this in case you know there's something you want to know about your part. But when you scroll down, you'll see that you can download a CAD part. And so we stick to 3D Step. If you're using SolidWorks, there is a SolidWorks file, but for Inventor, we you choose 3D Step and we click Save. And once that starts saving, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my File Explorer and I'm going to navigate over to my downloads. And you'll see it right there. And I'm going to just drag it into one of my um, grab CAD folders, just so it's all in the same place. So we'll move it to breaks. Make sure it moves over. And to make sure, I just gotta find the part number. So it's 91290. Okay, and it's moved over. So now what I can do is I can open up my part assembly. And so you'll see that it's here. Uh, and you know it's it's put together just through constraints so if I move one I move both but for the purposes of design reviews or if you just want to make sure that parts fit what we're going to do to place this screw is we're going to click place and then place imported CAD files what that does is it immediately looks for all uh, model types and so we'll find the one that we're looking for which is the uh, let's see here A232, this one. And when we select it, it's going to give us this uh, dialog box that's going to ask how we want to import it. And we'll just take the default, so we click OK. And it's going to load for a little bit. And once it's finished, you'll see that you now have a part. And I can place as many of these as I want. So I'll click four and then right click to hit OK and now I can constrain them. And so as you may have learned in CAD guide week six, we use inserts for bolts. So I just click inserts into uh, here, apply and here and I'll apply. Okay. And once that's done, I have all four of my screws. Super easy. I didn't have to cut anything myself except for these two original parts. And now I can see that it's the perfect length. It's what I want. And now I have a complete part assembly. And so it's pretty easy. All you have to do to review is just McMaster.com. Finds the part you want. go to click the uh, part number once it loads, product detail, and then just save the 3D step file. 
And once it's there, you can place an imported CAD file, choose the file you need, and then just uh, import it as the default. And that's all it takes.